This is the Serengeti as never seen before, viewed through the eyes of East African guides Richard Knocker and John Vikivuyu, award-winning wildlife photographer Paul Joynson Hicks and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Powell. For the first time in decades, this extraordinary wilderness stands almost empty, a unique but bittersweet time to be here. Over eight days, they'll be bringing you a rare glimpse of the Serengeti and all its inhabitants in a visual diary. We hope this encourages you on your own safari, so together we can continue to conserve this precious wilderness. Hello, morning everybody. So, uh, we've got a very exciting morning ahead of us. Where are we going, Tommy? Well, yes, today we are going to meet my friend Dennis from the Cheetah Project. And we're going to go look for some cheetahs. Wow. Dennis is going to tell us all about what cheetah research is all about. Absolutely. Woody. Dennis. Morning. Um, so one of the things we really do as guides when we're heading out uh, for the morning drive, we're always scanning the track ahead of us to see what's gone in the night. Um, and here we've got a whole bunch of hyena. There are four or five hyena that have been walking along the road here. Absolutely nothing going on this morning. Well, that's really honest of you, Richard. <laughs> Here we are in the Serengeti, this sort of hot spot of biodiversity. You know, nothing to see. Oh. There are the lions. Nearly missed them, nearly drove straight past. Let's go over and have a look, shall we? Is that good? Clever Eliza picked up on an elephant rumbling. I missed it, uh, but there's a lovely herd of elephants. They're really on the move. They're moving fast. Are they thirsty? Coming to drink? Um, they might trip over the lions. That would provide a really interesting interaction for us to watch. Um, and here they are, just ahead of us. But they're really packing tightly together. They're on the move. Gosh, so you never know what you're going to get in the morning when you head out. You never know what's just around the corner, and so quite a slow morning. We hadn't seen a lot. I was thinking of some macro filming and suddenly the whole dynamic changed. Yeah, so these guys are really on the move and packed together. What's up? Are they really thirsty or has something frightened them? What's going on here? The elephants are still running. The lions scattered, ran out of the way. So those sleepy lions are suddenly not so sleepy. We had this herd of elephants with a really noisy baby. <coughs> Rumpeting away, coming straight at us, and they're moving. They've been running all along this river line. We... It was huge drama, wasn't it? Yeah, it was amazing. So, a couple of kilometers further along, you know, um, we found another different herd of elephants in the water, drinking perfectly calm and relaxed and lovely. Next minute, the Chaos Kids arrived, and it all went haywire again. <laughs> Did you see that one female greeting, put her, the tip of her trunk in the other one's mouth? Yes, oh, it was extraordinary. Um, just incredible. And then they kept on moving and they joined one herd, didn't they? Wow, that was amazing. So we had that really stressed out herd running. They ran for kilometers. And now finally they've calmed down and they're moving off. Um, so I don't know what gave them such a big fright. Elephants don't run like that unless they're really frightened. I don't know what happened there. Paul, oh, you know, the, Dennis was telling me that, you no, know, there's a mother cheetah with five cubs around these plains. And it uh, would be really, really nice to see her. And I'm just trying to scan because he, he said he was, she was around somewhere here. Guess what? We have her. Yay! Well we done. have her. Wow! This is so exciting. So here we are. You see this mama with two of her kids. 
Um, Dennis is on his way. We're feeling very pleased with ourselves because we're the one that found her. This female cheetah is a very successful mother. Uh, this is the second litter. The first litter was three cubs and she raised them very well to adulthood. And uh, this is the second one, which is five cubs, which is really rare for a cheetah mother to raise five cubs to this age of almost eight months. Here they are. Just using the shade, everyone. She's using the shade of the car. So you can hear the purring. Um, big cats like lions do roar, and cheetah do purr. So um, we're out in the eastern plains, and uh, we found the cheetah, as Jombi just told you. So it's time for our photo tip, and this is brilliant. So. Um, Mama Cheetah has just been sitting up on the ridge. Now I'm photographing her uh, at wide open aperture. So on this lens at maximum zoom, it's 5.6. So you can see there she's sitting up there. Now what we're looking at today is the direction of your composition. So she's sitting up there now. Okay, she's looking to the left. So I'm gonna photograph her slightly on the right-hand side of the frame, so she looks to the left, so there's space into which she's looking. Now when she, she moves her position, looks to the right, I'm gonna move that composition, like she's doing now, very conveniently. I'm gonna move that composition, so the space is now on the right-hand side for her to look into, to give her space to look into. And then when she looks straight at me, come on, Mama, look straight at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, thank you. Now she's looking straight at me, so I put her in the middle. Although she's on the bottom third still, her feet, but she's now looking at straight at me, so I put her in the middle. Now, if, any, if you're photographing people, your pets, anything like that, if they're walking or running or looking in a certain direction, you leave them space to look or walk or run into. Always leave space in the direction in which a person is walking. Dennis, what a morning we've had. Yeah, it's a lovely morning. It's a lovely yeah. morning. How many cheetahs do we have in the Serengeti? Um, we think uh, between 100 and 150 in the Serengeti National Park. Roughly, and I know this is not an exact science, but how big is a cheetah's territory? Yeah, so we have two different uh, cheetah territories. Mm. Uh, one for the solitary, solitary uh, females mm -hmm. or solitary males floating uh, across the plains. They can go up to 800 kilometers square. And huge. also for the coalition of brothers who are territorial are considered to hold a small territory which uh, is approximately uh, around 40 kilometers square. 40? Yeah. 40. So it goes from 800 square kilometers for a to solitary one yeah. to 40, 40 for coalition. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> and that's how it ended. I love it. <laughs> hey, Jombi. Hey, Richard. How's it going? Very good. Very good. What Very a day. Good. Another great really day. Lovely yeah. day. I think we've got some really cool stuff lined up yeah. for tomorrow. Please watch it and please like. Um, and we've got some great questions coming in. Um, so here we go. What do you have for us, Jambi? Uh, yes, we. I have two questions. One from Nikki. Nikki asked about, you know, is it necessary to bring a tripod on Safari? The answer to me for that will be a no. Um, we have bin bags on in the vehicles when they come on Safari. And again, uh, when you bring a tripod, it, it adds a lot of weight again on your baggage and also doesn't really be helpful it's yeah. it always on your way the when you're bags it. are yeah. just fine they Bean did their job fine just out. perfect good yeah. nice one thanks nikki um and i have a question from isabella isabella wanted to know what's the plural of mongoose great question thank you for that yeah um and i wish i could say the plural is mongoose it should be shouldn't it but it's i'm afraid it's not so the plural of mongoose is mongooses or actually mongoose. mongoose yeah. yeah. So great yeah, question. Thanks. Good, Keep very, them coming. Very good question. Yeah. yeah, I also have a question from Isabella. Okay. And um, is that the question was, uh, why do giraffe chew side mm -hmm. uh, The answer for that will be is 
uh, all ruminant animals do chew sideways mm -hmm. and that's how they grind their cards the same as cows yeah uh, if you have cows or anywhere close look at them you know they chew the same way the reason for that is because you know when they chew regurgitate the cards you know they have to chew sideways to just make sure they grind all the really hot stuff that you know grinding they, that they, they grind yeah. that food yeah right, right. so that that will be the, the answer for that yeah. Yeah. nice one and i have a question from jules um about uh, running on from the eclipse yesterday uh, so what causes an eclipse um thanks for that nudge um so a solar eclipse which is what we saw yesterday is when the moon comes between the earth and the sun blocking out the light of the sun so that's the solar eclipse so that actually gives us a nice little quiz yeah um for today and what would that be <laughs> <laughs> if that's a solar eclipse an eclipse of the sun what is a lunar eclipse how do you get an eclipse of the moon questions please i mean sorry answers please um and please keep the great questions coming thanks a lot see you Thank next you. time bye-bye